Every single week, I try to test out just about every single AI tool that gets released. And this week, I wanted to share with you seven that I recently found that I think you're gonna find very valuable. Now, the first one on the list is from Google, it's called Google Illuminate. Now, this is very similar to another function that you'll find inside of another app called Notebook LM. This is from Google. This is one of their most popular and one of the most popular tools in the world of AI. So if you haven't used Notebook LM, I'll just briefly show you what that is. Now with Notebook LM at notebooklm.google.com, you could add all kinds of sources. This is all your own information, your own research, your own knowledge base. And then you could have an AI based chat conversation with all your own sources. Now, one of the most interesting things inside of Notebook LM is this thing called audio overview, where it takes all that information in those documentation and creates a podcast. This was an eight minute podcast that he created for me. And I made a different video all about Notebook LM and this audio overview. So I'll link that below because this is not a Notebook LM video. But this audio overview function, well, Google decided to roll that out in a whole different app. I'll show you that now. And by the way, if you go to labs.google, this is where Google is testing out all kinds of new AI apps. So I checked this website, Google LM was first released here. They have all kinds of different tools here that they're testing out, but this one is called Illuminate. Let me go ahead and try this to show you this. Google Illuminate transforms your content into engaging AI generated audio discussions between two different people. It uses the same voices that are inside of Notebook LM. Now down here, they also have a library. I'll just press play on one just so you see what it sounds like. Ready to break down some research? This paper, Artificial Intelligence Index Report 2024, explores the rapid advancements and growing influence of artificial intelligence AI in our world. I'm ready. It's absolutely incredible how fast AI is evolving. To create those audio overviews on this page, you have to search for a topic or paste a PDF URL. Well, huge limitation right now. You can't upload your own PDFs. So I'm hoping they roll that out right now. Again, very beta version, actually experiment version of this. This is kind of before beta. But it says those PDFs have to come from this link right here. So if I go to this website, they have it on all kinds of different topics, or you could type in a topic and press enter here, and it's gonna show you all kinds of topics that you could pull in these PDFs from. So let me just look up this one and this one right here. I'll select these two. I'll add those as my sources. And then over here, it says create a discussion tailored for, you could change your audience. So general audience is what you picked by default, but you could go ahead and change that, type in your own audiences with a longer duration. So it says you could do medium, you could do longer, and you could do quick, which is less than five minutes. The tone should be friendly. So in this case, let me change this to medium. And then you could go ahead and press generate from here. Now this took about a minute here to create, is six minutes, the medium length. Let me go ahead and press play. Welcome to our discussion. Today, we'll be delving into two fascinating papers that explore the philosophical underpinnings of physics and the nature of physical laws. And then you could press this hand signal right here. And then it opens up this Q&A where you could ask any questions about those papers. So a fantastic tool, except I really hope they add the option to upload your own document like you could do inside of Notebook LM, but pretty cool tool already if you find the right research papers to create these audio discussions. Now, the next one is called Napkin AI. The website is napkin.ai. And this will help you turn any type of text prompt into very interesting visuals that you could use inside of PowerPoints, inside of AI powered presentations, and really easy to use. And they have a completely free plan available as well. And with Napkin AI, you just have to paste any type of content that you wanna then turn into a diagram or a visual element, or you could just create by using a text prompt here. And the AI actually does two things. It actually writes you an entire blog post if you wanted to use this blog post, but I wanna create this visual element right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. It's gonna create a visual element. <laughs> and look how nice this looks. This kind of graphic will take quite a while to create and these are other alternatives to it too. So you just hover over each one, right? So if you like any of these, you could go ahead and click it and it will save it like this. And then if you wanna download it, let's say I don't wanna use this post at all, I'm gonna go ahead and download it as a PNG. And if I wanna turn any other parts of this into a visual, I could just select that portion of it. And here are some other options that we have. These are really nice. Let me see what other styles we get out of this one. 
Oh, very cool. So like that, again, download this too. And this brings me to the third tool here, which is called Gamma. And Gamma I've covered multiple times. It's the best AI tool right now for creating presentations, alternative to things like PowerPoint. And you just could paste text. You could generate just using a single line of text, or you could import any type of file. I'll show you this one for now. I'm gonna create a presentation for hiring the right people, similar content. And this is the number of cards. If you have the paid version, you could get more cards with the free version. You're gonna be limited on how many cards. Cards are kind of like slides. Here's the outline. I'm gonna press continue and I'm gonna choose a theme. Let me just choose this theme right here. And this is what it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna press generate just to show you the power of Gamma. It's kind of one of the most mind blowing AI tools. Look at this. It's creating the entire presentation here in real time. I'm not editing this right now. It's writing all the copy. That was from one line of text here. And it's gonna even create these images for us. These are AI generated. You could switch these with your own. <laughs> this looks kind of funny. And then if you wanna change any of these with any of the things you made inside of Napkin AI, you'll just have to select that image here. I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna go ahead and click over here to upload. And then we could upload our own like this. I'm gonna replace that image over here. Let me close this up and I could click this. This will fit the image. So combining Napkin and Gamma, you could get some crazy powerful presentations. I use this all the time. I'm using it right now to create a presentation, the impact of AI in marketing. And then you could go ahead to present mode right here. And then you will present it just like this. And then you could go through the entire presentation slide by slide. Some of these have different graphics to them. Really easy to create these editable, just like any PowerPoint documents. Now, before I jump into the next one, let me also introduce you to Flow. This is from a company called Speechmatics. They're the sponsor for today's video. They've been leading the speech technology space for over a decade now. And Flow is a brand new conversational AI API tool. And this is completely different than other models. Even the best models from OpenAI can keep up with some of the things that Flow can do. Let me show you a quick demo, and then I'll show you a couple of videos they have on how this is really different than anything that's available right now. Hello there, how's it going? Hey, it's going good right now. What are you up to? Oh, just here to chat with you. Anything exciting happening today? Yeah, I'm making a YouTube video right now about some top AI tools. That sounds interesting. What kind of AI tools are you featuring? Uh, you know, just things about creating uh, real-time voice conversations right now. Ah, uh, brilliant. Real-time voice tech is fascinating. Are you focusing on any specific applications? Okay, well, I'm focusing on Flow right now. Now, there's three things that really sets Flow apart, especially if you're using the API to build any type of app using voice. One of them, they compared OpenAI, OpenAI obviously behind ChatGPT, one of the leading AI platforms out there versus Flow. And this is really interesting. So it could actually recognize different speakers using their voice. And in this demo right here, I'll go ahead and link this below. OpenAI does not get this right. So the second time they come around, it doesn't get it right. But when they use Flow, it remembers everyone by name. And then when they talk again, it knows who's speaking. OpenAI failed in this test. Now they also built this to understand different accents and dialects, something the other models I've tested out completely struggled with. So this is really gonna make it accessible to a wider audience. And this one was one of my favorite options. So in this example, OpenAI, when two people were talking in the background, it just kept getting interrupted. It kept pausing itself. But then when they use Flow to do the exact same thing, it ignored the background conversation makes it a whole lot more useful, especially in a busy environment. Now they have a ton of demos you could see on their website that I'll go ahead and link below and you could get started with their API and try it for free until end of November. The next one on my list is from a company called HeyGen that makes AI avatars. I covered this one a bunch on my channel too. This one is not a free tool though. There is a new option inside of HeyGen called Generate Looks. And it's really interesting. You could generate an AI avatar using multiple photos. You could generate from a single text prompt or you could add motion to a photo avatar. In this case, I'm gonna generate from a text prompt. Now this is kind of a big upgrade because right now with HeyGen, you could clone yourself and you have a library of avatars that they created that you could build. But now you could describe by generating from a text prompt right here. So I could type in a name 
I could pick an age, I could choose a gender, and I could choose an ethnicity, and then I could go ahead and describe my avatar. Okay, doctor in blue scrubs, hospital setting, smiling, short black hair. I could do full body, upper body, or just a face. I could choose an orientation, portraits fine, let's generate. I got four, let me choose one here just to show you what it looks like. Okay, this looks really great. It followed my prompt exactly. And then I could go ahead and take this to the AI studio, the Heijin AI studio, create a portrait video. And over here, I could type in my script. And then this avatar is gonna read exactly what that is. And as soon as I go ahead and submit this for a job, it will then render out an entire video over here. Let's talk about a simple habit that can make a big difference, drinking enough water. Did you know staying hydrated helps your body function better, keeps your skin looking fresh, and even boosts your energy levels? Okay, that's not bad, but this doctor is smiling way too much, I think. Maybe a subtle smile would be something I would do in a follow-up prompt, generate another image, and then recreate another video. I could turn on the captions here. Really powerful way to create exactly what you want out of your character instead of using ones from the Heijin library. Now there's also a brand new large language model that somehow I missed. It came out about four or five weeks ago. This is called Pixtrol. And this is a multimodal model, meaning it could understand images on top of understanding and writing text. And this is from a company called Mistral. So you could use it on this website. It's totally free. This is an open source model. It's called chat.mistral.ai is their website. And their best model available is called Mistral Large 2. And I really like this for reasoning. I like this for coding. It's a really great free open source model. But Pixtrol is the new model. This one understands images. And I'll just show you a demo. I'll upload a file. This image depicts a group of people sitting around a long table in a modern professional setting, more details about the colors and so on. So anytime you need something where you need to extract text, this comes in handy for any multimodal type of use case with a large language model. So I use ChatGPT for things like this, but now you have it inside of a free and open source model from the company Mistral. Now I'll finish up with an app that I've had on my phone for four years, but I use it a little bit differently now. This is called Utter, utter.ai, and they released a brand new thing inside of there called Utter AI Chat. Now, before I show you Utter AI Chat, which is the new option, Utter AI is one of the best tools for work because it integrates with Slack and it also integrates with Zoom, for example, or Microsoft Team. So when you're having video conference calls, it will be your AI assistant inside of those calls. So I use it for that already. But what's really nice is this new other AI chat, and I'm using the completely free version of this, by the way. Now, all your conversations from Zoom, Google Meet, those Microsoft Team calls, they go into this platform, this website, and then you could have a conversation directly here using the AI chat. I'll show you with this demo account. So in this conversation, it created this action items list from that Zoom call. It created an outline. It pulled in the entire transcript of who's talking and exactly what they said. And on the left side, I could say, what did Lisa say about Utter? And according to the transcript, Lisa said, I started using Utter a few months ago and it saved me a ton of time by taking manual notes. And you could see all the different times Lisa mentioned Utter in this transcript. Again, this demo transcript. So imagine having a chat, an AI power chat with your own Zoom meetings. This will join the meeting as a little AI assistant. It will then take the transcript. It will then give you the action items in the summary. So all that is really good. But the ability now to chat with your own Zoom conversation, with your own Teams conversation, really a fantastic upgrade. Now, all the links are included in the description, including the link to try out Flow. Thanks again for Speechmatic for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you on the next one.